Oh, the hedge fund managers, they're so fancy, aren't they? Costly hedge funds act like they are king, but investors are not reaping the rewards. The industry actually underperformed the broader market again last year. We bring back our panel, Tracy Burns, Jeff Reeves, and Jason Rotman. Jeff, you wrote a great piece about this. Uh, again, this is something Buffett has been railing against for a long time, saying, why are you paying somebody to lose your money? Well, I mean, it's funny, though, because Warren Buffett fundamentally picks stocks, though, right? So that's the kind of talk out of each side of your mouth type of thing that people on Wall Street do. Look, we're all in the projections game. Um, I think it's important to realize that the environment has been very favorable for passive funds and indexing. And in full disclosure, like 85% of my portfolio is in index funds. They're very valuable as a tool, but they're not the only tool. And I also think that there are a lot of managers out there who get a bad rap because they're painted with a broad brush. You interview them all the time. There's a lot of really smart people out there who know what they're doing. So but, but, but on, Jeff, on a certain Jeff level, consistently, I mean, uh, they may have one of amazing year and then the the paulsons of the world who who had an incredible time did very very well during say for example the subprime crisis and made the right bets there then makes the wrong way bet on on gold yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of the way it goes. And if you actually look at the way uh, active versus passive management has gone, uh, actually in 2007, believe it or not, active management outperformed. So it's, it, it hasn't been that long since active management worked, quote unquote, worked for people. So I think these things kind of ebb and flow. A big be deal have been made about it right now just because Vanguard is, is everything in the media lately. Uh, and I don't mean to discredit what they've done. I think that th there's a lot of value okay. in index funds for All people. Right, Tracy, but I think the death of active management is over-exaggerated. Tracy, you give your money to a fancy pants manager or put it in an index fund. I'm going index these days, Liz. I mean, the fees are outrageous, and you're not guaranteeing me anything. And Active actually has suffered for a very long time. Active managed mutual funds have suffered for a very long time. So I think that you're better off some days just letting the market do its thing. We can't call Jason Rotman a Wall Street guy. He's all the way out in California. But, but again, <laughs> they, they take huge fees, the 2 and 20, you know, 2 percent and 20 percent. It right. ends up being so much they eat up your entire gain that you may have had. Well, that's a slight exaggeration there. I mean, if, if a manager nets or grosses 30% and he takes 20% of that, you're still left with, you know, what's that 24% net to the client. So I think ultimately at the end of the day, um, managers deserve 2 and 20, especially if they can do well. And even way beyond that, just from a big picture perspective, mm -hmm. it's all about asset allocation. I mean, nobody invests 100% of their money in hedge funds. Probably nobody puts 100% of their brokerage account in, you know, the S&P index right, fund. Exactly. It's really about diversification. And that may be the boring truth, well, but it's the real truth. The so real that's truth. kind of my point. Whether you make your money through a hedge fund or an index fund, you, you spend a lot of it on your kid's college, right? President Obama looking to make college more accessible, affordable. He's proposing two free years of community college for students. What do you think, Trace? I hate this. You know what? why I hate this? You only need a 2.5 <laughs> to m make it through. So how, how, why don't we lower the bar a little bit more for our students? If I'm going to give you free money, I want A's across the board. And the other thing is we do not know how we're paying for this. So again, we're throwing more money out. We're giving more money away. We have no idea how we're going to cover it. This is on the taxpayer's back. Uh, Jeff, although if you take the other side of it, college and not even great ones has become prohibitively expensive. I mean, some of the even lesser names are 40 grand a year. And I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, when you look at the cost of basic community college, 3,131 a year. Yeah, I mean, I have sympathy for, for this argument. And I mean, in, in full disclosure, again, like I'm a, I'm a socialist on this one. I think government should pay for education for people who deserve it. But I agree with Tracy, the notion that a C plus isn't really deserving it. I think uh, America's next generation of leaders, really bright people who are going to be engineers, they deserved college, even if they can't afford it. But, you know, college isn't for everybody. And this kind of everybody gets a trophy mentality is, is kind of self-defeating. And, and I don't think it, it does what Obama would like it to do. Jason, I wish we had time for you, but you went to Princeton, so you'll do no, just fine without the final comment. Great, <laughs> great to have all of you. Tracy Burns, Jeff Reeves, and Jason Rotman. Wonderful Thank you. to have you.